What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as, as Great Britain. So to run off of my last time, we are still pushing the Russians east and now Sigmund Werner is engaging Timofey Lobodin. And he will then join the armies pushing eastwards. We need to do a count of the territories currently remaining in Europe because I would like it so so that I capture Moscow still at the end as my final territory um, so I think that will end up being that will end up meaning that uh, liberating lots of countries and effectively creating a very very large Greater Hungary I might put I think these guys would be just out of range We're well, in range of their guns, but we are on the offensive, so I'm probably not going to want to do that. Potentially advance up to this area of broken ground. So let's put a set of guns on the road. Some foot infantry. Well, actually, let's put, put them all here for now. I'll spread them out when I get up to position and remember the artillery let's, let's give one flank two skirmishes and a foot infantry let's give the other flank a foot infantry and a skirmisher unit cavalry on the right left sorry because that's where the bulk of their effort is howitzers will follow the main line of infantry Let's crack on. So I'm skeptical they'll make it that far before the Russians inevitably force us to counter attack. Well, not force us to counterattack, but you know, force us to move. It's probably how it's behind the hill here. And then, last but not least, Probably stretch these guys out to be a bit more. There we go. Then let's leave Sigmund behind just a little bit before pushing him up and probably keep him near the cavalry to keep him safe. Militia, conscripts, musketeers, 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 musketeers. I don't like how their hats splay out like a Pope hat. To me, that looks a bit funny. Um, can I speed up time a little bit? So the first combat could be a cavalry clash. But they've got lances, and I've got dragoons. But I do have heavy dragoons, so I'll be able to. Oh, nuts. All my infantry run. They're not going to make that. No way. Oh, okay, and they've fallen back. Or they're falling back. Speed of time somewhat. Unlimber the howitzers. I mean, 
that's not a great position. Howitzers are firing. First cavalry combat engaged. These are lances, so they might have the best of it um, on the charge. But once we get into combat, we will chop through them. Well, there's a bit of a shimmy going on. Target fire on the artillery. The rifles are engaging the militia. Russians are retreating, just pull the cavalry back. Target fire into the houses as well. Ooh, they're going to advance on the, on the flank. There we go. British Dutch line infantry having it. So they're being engaged by a volley fire and the rifles providing constant weathering fire. Straight into the Lance Cavalry, then they'll go straight through into the militia if they don't decide to engage. With melee fire, with melee attacks before then. So they're going to fire into the cavalry combat. So let's pull this unit of light dragoons off, pull them through into the militia. Limber the British guns. I mean, your light infantry, so just get the volley off. Good. Broken. So let's advance. Let's finally get on to the business of advancing up into the Russians' position. Bring up our cavalry. Good, that's the artillery routed. General killed. Let's just begin engaging the infantry force to the cavalry retreat. There we 
we go, because they will get picked apart by my artillery. Let's bring these chaps in to attack the gunners. Ooh. Some some musket fire is managing to hit my cavalry. Come on, mon ami. Let's get you in. Well, not mon ami. That's the last thing I would say. Let's absolutely continue. And let's speed up time a little bit. Okay, don't worry about the horse artillery crew. Not if all this infantry is going to escape. Let's halt fire. Let's keep our general safe and let's probably turn off fire at will. With this infantry. Then we can get my general involved. Sir! Sir! Our general is under mm, attack! That was the hope. Now you go after them. You continue after this unit of musketeers. Come on, General, there's 200 of them. I'm not General, these are my light dragoons. It'd probably be better if I start attacking them, but they're too close to the edge. From my dragoons back over here now. Everyone against this is, is against this single unit of foot musketeers. Triple speed it, although they are going to get to the line, sadly. No, don't forget this one guy. Sad face. Oh, and these guys are still on the map. Is this the artillery? No, it's a, it's a five strong unit of musketeers. Oh, this must be what my dragoons are chasing down. The hopes rest on this guy. There we go. Close victory. That wasn't close. That was a solid drubbing of the Russian forces. Yeah, look at that. We lost 268. They lost 2,000. Timothy screwed up. Chase him down. Any further orders? I'm have to steal this unit of infantry to join their force. Good and take position on the border. Arthur Belsley's marching north. Uh, yes, let's just not disband, but let's move a unit of infantry. Put the military cavalry cannot be in Zagreb and see if we can build up a no generals yet for the Vienna army, but still, let's get them on the move over towards Iasi. Okay, so you got smashed and you're in fairly good. Oh no, you're the um. You're a mixture of extra recruits from Budapest. Let's just quickly do this. If I attack them, it might hit both of them. Give me a battle, Lemuel. Nice one, Barrisford. Ernest Augustus. If you charge it down, let's see how well you get on. Damn right, victory. Oh, I can't fix this yet because it's not mine. 
And let's move my cavalry through the hills. Oh. Henry Paget can leave Warsaw and you, my friend, can march onward to Minsk. George Murray, you need to move back and replenish. You could probably do with two units of infantry from um, Mittal. Steam powered sawmill is lovely. Um, that's the remnants of the army we ambushed previously. There you go. If I sit here, I can ambush them while they come across the road again. We are low on numbers, but we'll have to deal with that. Then Henry Clinton march onwards to Kam Kamenets. So, my objective for this campaign is I need to catch a 14 more regions and there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, well maybe if I just ignore Istanbul I do want to catch Moscow all the way at the back. But it is getting towards winter, 1809, so there's only a limited distance how far we can actually push. So let's... Mm, don't attack this territory. Let's attack Olmutz. Let's take out this Russian boil in the rear. Unless I just end up pushing through like a, like a, rather than a broad front, on an arrow front and go straight for Moscow. Or just accept that I will hit the objective before I get to Moscow, but just keep playing it for a few turns. That's probably going to be what I do. Okay, so where's the best place for artillery? We'll say somewhere on this flank. That hill would be nice, but it's a bit too close. Here's out of range. Yep, yeah, because these are these are six pounders, yeesh. They're definitely gonna move up. Let's put all my non-Scot infantry on the right. All my Scott infantry on the left, or soon to be on the left. Group my dragoons together, some very elite dragoons on the left, and my light dragoons on the right. General in the centre. Let's move up. Highlanders, including my Highland. Even though they are advancing towards me. I mean, they are advancing towards me. So it makes me ponder if this is even the right call. Oh no, they're just reforming a line. Move up my general to the trees, move up my cavalry onto the extreme left. And let's speed up time somewhat. Let's let them just run around figuring out what in what position they would like to die. As their guns move up into position. Hussars on the left behind me. It's not a major concern, except we've got good cavalry. Oh, okay, now they've sounded the general advance. Oh no. Still just a rejig. As the guns have started firing. Let's 
get the hussars as they're as they're weak and isolated. Garrison's got in the way. Garrison militia got in the way. Turn fire all off. Unlimber the guns, and then let's get my Scots infantry to capture this hill. Marching into the town. There we go. First units got into position. Mosque and Musketeers, some armed citizenry. Do that. I'm going to send some, some cover on a flanking run around the village. Let's run these chaps into position because there are hussars that might be not dangerous but frustrating. Because they will get the charge off if they so wish. But a light unit of hussars is not really a worry. Especially with so few men. Come on, drag them off their horses. And... Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Oh, I'm sure he is, and I'm sure he's secretly fascinated. Before you shoot yourselves in the back, fall back. Ah, oh, the Russians want to make it to the line, do they? Make ready, please, lads. Fire into that smoke. Come on, lads. Oh, beautiful. Militia's come back. Oh, here come a slightly bigger unit of hussars. My cavalry is after the militia. Scottish flank done, doing fantastically well. Seems to be a bit of an effort being made here. However, the general staff will may die from collateral damage. Let's form a square with these guys. Dragoons in hard. Yep, and these guys will have a grand old time shooting the retreating units. 
glorious victories, huh? And these guys will actually die once they run into the line. Who are you? Oh, you're garrison units. You're not beneficial, but you're probably not that great either. I've not targeted my guns at all, but it doesn't really seem necessary. Kill their cavalry as they routed. Charge in. Well, it's just general staff for the minute. It's alive. Probably shot off his horse. That being so, let's keep my cavalry out of it. Routing, routing. Oh, they've got the musketeer units reformed in the safety of the hills. Oh, let's, let's end it there. Damn right, it's a heroic victory. I can't give it away. Well, I can give it away in a bit, but Sweet Olmutz is ours. Like Switzerland is bottled up. Although you're in the, your way, Charles Colville. Hero worshipped. For Wellesley. Damn right they do, because he's brilliant. That's why I want him on the march to Moscow. Okay, let's hit and turn and see what the AI does. So our spies advanced eastwards. I should have got rid of the spy from Olmutz. Just take advantage of his movement for this turn. Nevertheless. So I'm, I'm, even though I'm, I'm at war with Sweden, I have no... I have no quarrel with them. Anything more? I mean, we could ambush them, but I'm just going to water it. Yeah, it's not a bad ratio. Not great, but not bad. Primarily want these units to replenish somewhat. Although it's unfortunate I've let them cross the bridge. No, oh, and they are sallying out from Vilnius. Um, Yeah, let's fight that now. In the end, I might actually just ignore the ignore the objectives in my head I know what I want to do and I can see that it's achievable I'll probably be about three or four territories over the limit come on then lads you chaps want to make war Michael Stowell your armies have been with us from the get go Actually, I might deploy you forwards and then more artillery on this slight hill. Especially as there's convenient terrain to allow me to do it. Lovely. Let's deploy my howitzer batteries out. Let's add a bit more infantry into the line. Maybe we're go for trenches just to make ourselves a bit more hardy. Then let's keep two dragoons on the right. 
one on the left. Let's crack on, because they, they attacked me, so... Speed up time. Let's see, what are these? These still... these are still six pounders. Pretty veteran six pounders, though. Oh no, these are nine... Oh, okay, I got two sixes and two nines. So the nines have engaged. Now the sixes have engaged. Now my howitzer is engaged. Oh, okay, you were being shot at by artillery. Poor soul. target fire because this flank is a bit vulnerable let's deploy my cavalry out well the cover on my left out are opening up on the militia. These poor devils, when they get into position, they're just going to get chewed apart. It's all of my artillery against one. It's all firing against one unit. In which case, then, let's do... Let's change the target a bit. But they are going to be very, very sore once they hit my line. Let's get all my cavalry to go against this musketeer unit. This is two units, even though the... Yeah. King's German Legion might be able to get a volley off. So we'll lose some a lost a guardsman a dragoon guardsman for that. So I'd turn fire off. Then I want to turn it back on. Nope, actually ignore them. Just run my cavalry out. Okay, you may as well chase them down by that route. Let's run out of my general staff. Well, let's get one of you into them. One of you keep moving out, and let's probably run my gen run a King's German Legion over there to keep them on on the back foot. All my artillery against this one unit for insurance. Same with my howitzers. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Stowell, run! Run my hussars in. Get my guns pounding. No, why am I? Get 
damn it, this is all screwed up. I should run you in to help out my other unit of infantry. This is gonna be a bloody one. Especially with my artillery now doing it. Nothing except causing me issues. Good, light cavalry deal with the militia, heavy cavalry come after the musketeer garrison, same with you. The glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I committed my infantry too fast. Into the well, I come in my infantry and my cavalry too early into the chase. The rain they're about to get charged from the backside. Okay, you continue to chase and then let's go. I want to get these guys around into the rear of this Russian infantry. Oh, you're perfect. Charge into the back of them. You need to charge in the back of them. Still. There you go. See, they're winning. The Russian infantry, they're not bad in melee. got them surrounded. It's, it's now an option. Run down the militia. Because they are all who remain. Let's speed up time a little bit. Boosh. Yeah, there's about 80 men. We outnumber them in Dragoons. See, they did come back. Not for long, though. <laughs> Before the King's German Legion saw them off. That is the enemy general. Good. Nice defence of the Sally from Olmutz. Awesome. Oh, the Russians come and help their Prussian allies. The Russian dogs. But don't worry. Once, once winter comes, we'll have to hunker down for a bit. Oh, good God. Good job I forgot about them. Oh. oh, yes, I forgot about Stuttgart. You had this army here. Auto resolve it. Russian. Russian. Ra raiders. That's the word I was looking for. Good, the Belgians have kicked into gear. Finally. Especially like, as I carve them out this really nice little empire, you'd think they'd do me the... Oh, they're naturally detected. Okay, we've well, upgraded the mines. Sigmund Werner, you're probably going to have to go... this way, because they've got quite a few decent-sized armies here. Kill these raiding swines. Let's fix our mine and our steam powered mill. Okay, so you're here in position. You won't move on them yet. You've got this bridge covered. They could go north. This is why I need Werner to move straight for, straight for Stuttgart. Oh, we destroyed Wilbur Briggs, so that's a Stuttgart. Lots of good upgrades. Yeah, we've got your number, mate. Infiltrate. Ah, oh, they shot him. Um, where's my... There he is. 
Here's another agent who will go onwards up to Riga. Henry Paget, move on to Minsk. You may as well not bother about Minsk up to Novgorod. Got no visibility on up there. To be honest, I'm, under, I'm sieging lots of places at the minute. Um, let's get a spy down to Greece. Let's move you up to Bucharest. James Inglis Hamilton is replenishing. We could probably do with. We could probably do with one of you guys. Let's march some. Dutch line infantry in. You can. I can now recruit a general, John Oswald. Damn, he's good as well. March straight on to Bucharest with you then. Some Wellesley up to Smolensk. This army here at Olmutz. Um, just send them a long target up to St. Petersburg. I can bring, well, this force under Brent Spencer isn't quite ready yet. Gonna have to recruit some conventional loan companies. If I could get Grenadiers or something like that, that's what I'd like, but I cannot get them. So I'm going to get another unit of Dragoons, and another unit of Foot, and then they'll be ready to deploy to help this situation over here. But I think it's time to actually start to chip away at some of these enemies behind our lines. Hey, Alexander Abercrombie looks mighty familiar. Um, so we are going to fight this, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Siege or the Assault of Belgrade. Cheers guys.